Hey YouTube and welcome to our shop. I'm Todd. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 4x8 trailer. It's a folding model. Uh, it has a thousand pound capacity. We're going to look at some of the features. Up front here we're running a dry cell battery, independent electrical system. Back behind that a 2,000 pound winch. We've got a couple of jacks up here for stabilization. Uh, the entire trailer is built to be assembled and disassembled without any tools. So we've got a bunch of these custom wing bolts. We've got the ramps mounted on the side. Uh, in here you can see some D-rings. These are mounted to uh, some 2x2 two two structural angle, all tied into the frame. Back here we've got some additional jacks, once again to help with stabilization. Around back here, we have a roller set up for the winch. Uh, if you need to pull something on that's not running, it needs to be winched up, you can do that. Uh, standard lights and lights. Uh, right now we're going to show you how to set up to go ahead and get something loaded on here. And I'll just run you through the procedure. You're going to start off by removing these rear bolts, wing bolts. You're going to take all four of these out and set them to the side so that we can remove this rear panel. set these to the side. You just go ahead and fold in the panel. We'll also set that to the side. The next step is going to be to lower these jacks. <clears throat> now these jacks, we already have the front ones down. Uh, we're going to lower these so that we're not going to need a, a tow vehicle to be hooked up to load this thing. Uh, and it also, what it's going to do, it's going to prevent the trailer from getting worn out in the rear by having that constant stress of the bending from the axle back. So we'll look, lower these jacks down. Kind of get it leveled off. Just a little bit of pressure. We don't want to take the axles off the ground. Same thing over here on this side. The next step is going to be to take these ramps off and they're held in once again by our custom wing bolts. Same thing over here on this side. what you'll do is you're going to release the winch. We're going to go into free spool. We'll go ahead and pull the cable and pull it through our fairly. And then just continue to pull it all the way through. And here's where you can see where this roller is going to assist. we got our tractor set up. As you can see, we've got all four jacks down. Um, that's going to enable us to go ahead and load the trailer without it being hooked up to a tow vehicle. That's why we've added those on there. So no vehicle needs to be hooked up necessary, so don't flip over. All right. We're going to go ahead and winch this tractor up. Uh, our, our winch is operated with a wireless remote control. It makes it easy to get everything on and off. You can actually steer the, the vehicle while you're pulling it up onto the trailer. So we'll go ahead and do that now. show you how to break the trailer down for storage. So we're going to begin up front. What you're going to do is there's a pin directly underneath here. You go ahead and pull that out. It's going to allow this front wheel to go ahead and go forward. Make sure the chains are out of the way. 
and then go ahead and reinsert the pin. Okay. Next step we're going to do is remove the fence. Go ahead and remove all these custom wing bolts. Hold everything together. Like I said before, no tools needed for this. Uh, we designed it to where you don't need anything. Just a hammer. So you go ahead and remove all these. Okay, at this point we're ready to go ahead and take the sides off. We'll just set all of our bolts to the side. You gotta start by taking the back and front panels off. down to the deck. The next step is going to be go ahead and remove the pins that hold the trailer together. <clears throat> You've got two up front here in the same location. Underneath here you have another one of our custom wing bolts. And then back here we have a simple pin. Same procedure on the other side. By free spooling the winch. Just pull out and turn to the side. Go ahead and pull some slack. And then we're going to slide the winch cable underneath. Next step is going to be to go ahead and tilt the trailer back, relock the winch, draw it in. At this point, you're going to stop, put your jacks up. And the unit can be stored just about anywhere. 